So here you can see a project plan of mine. And what I want to say from the beginning is that right now I'm signed in from a demo account. And in my incognito window, I'm going to sign in through my personal Smartsheet account just to show you how this proofing works both ways. Okay. So when we talk about proofing, really, what does Smartsheet proof do and what can it do? Smartsheets proof basically helps you review and get your content approved with multiple stakeholders in just a flash. Because we know how hard it is to get your work proofed and get that timely feedback. So Smartsheets proof side of things helps you with that. So to get started, what I'm gonna do is hover over each row and you can basically add a proof to any row in your, your sheet and so for example i want to add a proof to row 15. task two i want to change it to add marketing material okay. so what's going to happen is you're going to hover over the proof icon and it's going to take you to this screen over here what you're going to do is you're going to upload that file that you would like your stakeholder to review so when you click on upload basically the proofing feature works with a variety of file types it can be images it can be videos uh, excel documents or even a PDF. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to be using a marketing creative example, but you can really use other uh, items too, like those videos and legal documents and so on. So first, I'm going to upload my proof. Open it, and it shows up over here. Okay, so now my creative material is on the screen. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to share this proof with the person that I would like to review this particular piece. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the invite over here. And notice how and I, I'm basically inviting that reviewer to this proof and not the entire sheet. So that's something really cool about the Smartsheets proof feature. I don't have to share them to the entire sheet. I can just share this particular proof. So who would I like to review? I'm going to do it for myself. Because I want to show you how this works. Please. So I'm going to click and I'm going to send. What's going to happen is that this reviewer will basically receive a notification through either a Smartsheet or email. Okay. So now I've invited myself and we can go check that out that it's been sent. 1218. Okay. Review proof. So I can either review proof or I can go to my incognito tab and refresh. Go to the bell icon, go to request, and see it here. Okay. So now what's going to happen? Now I would like to interact with this piece. I've invited the reviewer, but the reviewer still does not know what to review. So what I'm going to do is there are specific options over here in terms of pointing to a relative piece that I want to discuss about. Okay. So now since I've added the file, I can 
the reviewer on specific things that you know I feel needs improvement or I, I just need opinion or feedback. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to point to a specific piece in this proof and chat with my reviewer by at mentioning them in the comment section. So for example, I can do, I can point. So this really works with videos. I can do a box or I can do an arrow. Oops. Or I can insert some type of smileys, emojis, sorry. So in my case, let's say I want to put a box over this title name. And you can see that comment on the area. So basically you're commenting on specific areas. So you're really proofing this specific piece and you're getting the review st cycle started. And the chain of comments you'll be able to see once I tag this person, the reviewer. So I'm tagging myself and I'm saying, what do you think? Should we um, put a box to outline title? Okay. I'm sending this, this comment. Now, when I bring back my smart sheet from incognito window, I do a quick refresh. You'll see that my comment showed up here. And me as Varnisha, my personal account, I can basically interact with this comment and say, yes, I agree. Now, when I say this, this comment, okay, what's going to happen? This proof requires changes. It's not approved yet. What we're going to do is we're going to have this box to outline this title. So me, as a reviewer, I'm going to put in requires changes. Okay. Go back in here. I refresh. And I see this here. Here it says requires changes one. Okay. So now we've discussed the feedback and we we agree that changes has been required. We go ahead, we do the changes, let's say in paint or something like that. Now, what's gonna happen with the updated marketing material? What we're gonna do is where you see version one. We're going to add a new version. Okay, so I cancel the review request. I upload. I already have one made. I'm going to put that over here with a box surrounding it. And the interesting thing about this is that you have a trail of all of your versions that you have edited. What happens now when you add this new and done version? The first version will be locked to further comments. You won't be able to comment anything further because this is now locked since you have a new version, but you still won't lose your work. You still have it here. It's just in view only mode. Right here it says previous versions are closed to comments and review. Go to latest version. It takes you to version two. Now I can start the review cycle again. I'm going to point at this at this time and say, how does this look? I'm going to bring my incognito window back again to refresh. I see one right here. I respond to it saying approved because I like what I see. I send, and here, I refresh, I go to the marketing material, 
I say version two, approve, and I close the loop. So when your content is approved, you basically complete the loop by toggling the review complete. And that's it. Now your proofs are ready. And for in each of those proofs, you basically can't add more proofs after the review is complete when it's done for that particular row is done. You can delete it, but you can't add a new proof. You can go back and see version one. How did version one look like? Version two. And of course, you can have tons of versions, but it is important to close the loop once it's complete. And even when you hover over, so when you have a proof, you'll see as compared to the other rows that don't have proofs, row 15 has a proof. When you click into it, sorry. When you just click into it like that, oops, you'll see the, the proof panel showing up on the right side and it says V2. So if you have V3, V4, V5, it will show up as such and you can see the trail of the versions as well. I hope everybody uh, took some great takeaways today. So what we really covered is how do we upload a proof? How do we edit a proof? How do we send it for reviewing? How do we approve the, that proof? And how do we close that loop?